when each team is good. The things to look out for is shutting down S4. Slow down his level 6 as much as you can, make sure he doesn't get to one item for a while, and try to go into the mid game with, at the very least, Boombax being at the level he's supposed to be and OD having one movement item. If OD can get auto attacks off, he can burn through those CK illusions. But as the game gets later and there gets to be more and more CC up, OD's going to struggle to even get those four or five autos off to kill the CK illusions. Like, late game ODs, that every one of her tools can be used on a different person if she's going to if he's going to play the most effect effectively. He wants to disarm somebody super important, root somebody else, whether it's for a purge or the actual snare. And it's just really hard to get into position to do all those things. I absolutely agree. It's one of the hardest here. Jax is going to go for the rolling boulder on this courier. Mm -hmm. Timing is perfect. Has been yeah, what another courier a snipe. monster. You just line that up 100%. Delivered initially, but actually top lane. Rappy's in trouble. No to a great hero blocking coming out. He has a mango to eat for another chaos bolt if he wants it. To secure this kill. Jarex also trying to follow this up though, but Batrider pops the salve. And keep it his distance. Oh, they need to be yeah. careful not to get first blood of themselves now. <laughs> that tower. Jarex almost like messed that up for them. His rolling boulder got him in front of Chaos Knight, and he's way slower than CK. Expecting essentially free farm though for Gabby on the Juggernaut. Rolling. Coming in from Jarex right here. The cold snap's going off too. Puts himself under with the astral imprisonment. Nick's assassin gonna be here with the impel to try to save the day as well. Invoker, mana burn on top of that, so boombox. Looks like it's gonna be enough to maybe save that orbit venom though. Doing work and it is gonna be enough damage. I don't actually credit the Fort Spirit. Taking credit for the last hit. Oh, yeah. and Jerex there with the victory boulder smash. It's like, I got level two, deal with it. Kick the boulder at Boombox. How about Boombox, by the way, not getting spiked carapace at level two? Definitely interesting. Mana burn. Mana burn is, is great if he's going to be hanging around mid, just burning on out. An invoker without any mana is a sad invoker. Our spirit camp in the four minute rune here as well in the radiant jungle. That's Anna middle lane, meanwhile. Invoker, trying to run. The last attack is not enough damage. So close. Get that salve up. Jack's in a bit of trouble here, actually. Oh, he's out of spirits, though. Yeah, Fly Solo will fall. I am hard. So they're kind of man moding against one another, but Jarex has the last laugh. Top lane, wrap. Fly is probably going to be happy to wait here till S4 hits level 6. Once the Roar comes online, the Phoenix is pretty close to a free kill. So I think they're just waiting for that, that moment to come. And he's getting very close. Oh, Icarus dive in. They're going balls with himself. Is the Radiant side, but now it's four. Can he make his way out of it? The heal's coming out for more. Class. has to play this defensive now. Roll's going to miss. Phoenix keeping his distance. Uh, the root eventually comes out on top of the Sun Strike. And sure enough, Phoenix will go down. So not only saves S4, but doing work to get the turn kill. Arg, three experience for level six on Beastmaster here. This is oh, so man. sad. He gets it. Jerax rolls on out for the cliff. <laughs> Like he just teleported there. Yeah. Jerex is just running at Gabby right here. Jesus. <laughs> he definitely wants to get him to react of sorts, but he's not falling for it. Gabby's playing it defensive. See the Hawk coming in. The root comes out, though. He has to start spinning away, and he will do so. It's still going to run down the boulder smash. Ooh, good job spreading out, but Phoenix got close enough for the reality rift to pull in. These kills in. The roar connects on a juggernaut, actually. He has an Omni Slash after this. That's Necessary. a long way The reality rift, man. The range of that's ridiculous. The chaos bolt and the sun strike finishes. Oh, gee, just going deep. And it is working so far, but the Sanity's Eclipse comes out from the OD in return. And you see the imprisonment putting Chaos Knight under. Going to force him to walk away. So all they got was the... Uh, They'll was get the Oracle. Too, I think. And it looks like they are going to get Beastmaster as well. Yeah. As well. Dyer's top tower has Middle fallen. lane. Our mail could be in some trouble. The Hannah Minus himself, of course, trying to finish his power treads right here. But again, playing it safe. No something's out. Fly, the very aggressive ward behind the tower coming out. You have Nyx Assassin. He has his vendetta currently active. The reality is pulling on OD. Can he get the imprisonment off in time? He absolutely cannot. He goes down right there. Boombox is charging in. Looking for the target. Maybe going to go for Ana if he gets some support, but. Currently doesn't have anyone with him, so... Jerax is so good at this! Yeah. I mean, the rolling boulder in for pretty much max range, and then connecting with silence on the way in. That was just beautifully played. 
and you gotta start to wonder, is this first band material now again if you're playing against OG? It was for a long time, and it's looking like it's back. If, if Earth Spirit's back in general, you gotta think that's definitely a warrant, and Nyx Assassin, the setup perfect right there. The, the roar, I mean, the boulder smash it almost might have been enough, I want to say, but the roar absolutely makes it enough. That's the way the game is. Yeah. It's reacting with, and in fact, pops the Hastion right here. Obviously using the Hawk to scout, but... Clutch Gamers sees it in time, and they start running away, but Gabby's still not in the best of spots. In fact, they're going to find Oracle themselves. Omni Slash committed for They get the kill, but at what cost now? They're going to right into a trap. The Chaos Bolt goes off on a Nyx Assassin. Spin out. Nope, but the Roar goes through. And the Sun Strike to finish the job. Can Boombox makes the escape with the TP? Did they use everything? No, they did not. Reality Rift pull in, and that's a two for one. That's going to avoid the Hawk, but will this work out in the end? They have a jump opportunity. Supernova, it is ready to go. The lasso, they catch Anna. Supernova in the back lines. Fly is going to run away from it. They're not going to be able to stop that Supernova. S4 runs up to it, but it's going to be way too late. It finally goes off right here. Out comes the meatball, though, from Anna. Armel's going to end up dropping. He's staying dead right now. The Omni Slash bouncing around. We'll be able to take out the Beast Master in the back lines, but now No Tail pulls in Juggernaut. Reality Ridge pull in. And enough damage, more than enough damage to finish him off. Bat Rider, the sole survivor. Clutch Gamer's side. That was almost best case scenario for Clutch there. They got a great initiation off the Supernova. Not only did it not get killed, OG kind of hesitated and fought around it. It still blew up and caught three, but just doesn't have the damage. The Sanity's Eclipse didn't come down there. And OG just looking super strong in this game right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're Clutch, that was everything you wanted. And you only killed a Beastmaster. Did, I saw they, he lassoed Anna, but I'm guessing the False Promise took mm -hmm. it off right away if he used it on him. Yeah, um, it wasn't instant, but it was pretty close. And then that Meatball was just huge. The Meatball Deafening Blast yeah. from Anna hit like two people and shoved them straight backwards. OD basically died just yeah. from that. Oh, sure, I so down over here. <laughs> I heard the sun start going off, but I was like, oh, nothing of it. What the hell is that? Jesus. That Chaos and Knight, man. This just feels good if you're OG because not only did you do fine in lanes and put pressure on them, Ana didn't have to do anything. Ana got some ganks, it was nice. They're looking to go on Nyx here too. He makes it look so easy. I, I, I mean, we need to stop praising it so much because people know, but it's just... Derek said the, these barrel rolls, we see all the time players completely whiffing that ability. Feels like he's just on point every single time. Some heroes just click with you. They, they just feel natural when you're playing them, and so there they go again. There's a Reality Rift pulling, and Juggernaut, he's dead. Maybe? Yes. Not maybe His... playing it, but... Uh, not quite okay. going to drop the Phoenix. Fiery Spirit's too good. Yeah. Sun Strike it is! <laughs> uh, so he is. Oh, dead. man. Clutch Gamers, running on in. Want to make a fight happen? Roshan's not dead just yet, so taking a little bit too long. No tail running away. He's disarmed currently. Now uh, gets saved up for Oracle. Or attempts it at least. He's going to be stunned out. The Primal Roar, though, hits on OD. Now No Tail turning his damage. Phantasm already popped out. This Omni Slash bounce around on multiple heroes. Oracle saving himself with a false promise for the time being. They do kill OD as well as Phoenix. And now Juggernaut, nice boulder smash done on both with the science after the fact. They get the couple more kills. Fly actually stays alive throughout. And Rappy, one, two, three, Sunstrike. Double kill, four on a. Literally power it. Holy. All dead. I want to go back and watch this replay and just look. He's 8,500 net worth. That Hurricane Pike is coming. I mean, Juggernaut, we really haven't touched on him too much, but has the Yasha, the Manta style almost finished? Is, is it some yeah. items or is it just kind of, you know? Just I mean, Manta ganks? style almost finished at 20 minutes. It's just a little too late. Their best shot would be like everyone else dying but OD, and OD just racks up in somehow throughout the fight. And then just sanity eclipses for like three or four kills. Astral imprisonment will delay this a little bit, but now OD, he's. This is basically OD saving a Phoenix or attempting to, and he dies because of it. A, I mean, a good idea, but really, in hindsight, you really would have been better off running away at that point. Nice. I love how I go through a two minute trade about how Ana doesn't buy Blink early, and then he buys Blink. <laughs> Ignoring his quick buy. Thanks, Ana. Appreciate it. Oh. Got him. Yeah. How do you stop Nothil here, though? He's, he's got his BKB. Pretty 
full defense against Dill. You have ages on him. Nice. Reality Rift feels like it's it's like an like a thousand range. What, what is, does it even say the range on it? Yeah, seven hundred. Yeah, it's a little longer than most heroes auto attack range. But if you start the animation and they don't fog it or get really far away, you usually finish it. Miracle's not in this game, so what can you do? In uh, E's asked me anything. Someone asked what the differences in the regions were. Yeah, fly solo is dead again. And his his analysis of Southeast Asia was they flame. They're uh, they're low skill, but they never give up. It's like ouch. Jeez. Okay. We'll see a Ti seven. I know, right? Od. No, no sun strike, but did he try to push him into that? Jerex gets the kill there. Just a matter of time now. Pushing in 40 seconds for OD. No buyback. They're going to lose a mid. ECCG is like, screw it. Let's just try to push tier 3 ourselves at the top lane. We're not going to win a fight right now. Let's see what we can get. But in the meantime, they're on the verge of what could possibly be Megas now. Coming out from OG. So they're going to work on the tier 3 at the top. Yeah, looking like it. I'm really impressed by how much work this Helm of the Dominator actually did in this game for no tail. The The aura alone, the HP aura, has saved them in multiple fights, just making sure that they're in sustainable push-level health after they win the fight. The item just went from top tier to no tier after a couple of patches. But no tail kind of showing here that maybe, uh, maybe there is something to it. There's a Reality Rift pulling on a Phoenix. Easy kill there. And trying to finish the game off for good now. OD, he's caught too. Now the Rift again catches Bat Rider. It's such a short cooldown, only six seconds here. There's the applauses. GG's come out and it's official. OG will finish five and two here in the groups. That absolutely secures them, the, the winners again. They, they might have even with the loss here, but this is just no questions asked. 100% secures the slot for them, so they will be.